Hey guys, in this video, we'll be creating this page that you see in front of you. If, if you click on this thing, obviously we have the sliding effect going on here. Things slide in from the left and the right. And that's the page we'll be doing today. So without further ado, let's just get, let's just go ahead and do it. So the design that we're creating today is going to be related to, I don't know, pottery. It's going to be a website that's going to be related to pottery. It's going to um, showcase... Um, just the portfolio of a particular company that specializes in pottery or something along those lines i'm just making these things up i don't have a company like that but let's just go ahead and do it so first of all what i would want to do i just want to create like a dark uh, website so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to give it a dark background probably something like this makes sense obviously the background is completely upon you you can decide whatever you want to give it or whatever color you want to give it so now i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to create a logo mark i'm just going to say i'm not even going to worry about like the icon or anything or maybe we can place an icon but let's just go ahead and create a logo so um the the name of the company can be something like uh oli or i'm just making things up oligraph oligrat oligrat or something I don't know. Oligrad is fine. Um, I don't know where I'm coming with these names, but or probably um, Suzuki or Sunzi or something along those lines, just to give it a more Japanese touch. I'm not even sure if that's a Japanese name, but whatever it is, let's just go ahead and give that particular thing a name. We can choose an icon later on if we want to. Let's just reduce the font slightly. And I'm going to open the prototype view as well to just see how the design looks. Let me just close that and let's just go here and see how the design looks. Okay, I think it looks fine. Obviously, we don't have anything much here, but now let's just go ahead and create some links on the right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say we have a link of our uh, products, probably our products or probably of art. Um, and I obviously want to give this particular thing a particular style. So I just want to go ahead and I'm going to say it is going to, this is going to be bold. It's going to be semi bold. And I'm going to create a style for this. I'm going to say this is going to be a, I don't know. Actually, I'm just doing that in our first design file, like this Figma design file. So I don't necessarily want to do that because I don't want to populate my components in this design file. That design file is just for uh, me creating my YouTube preview. So I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say plus I'm going to create a new style. This is these are going to be my header links. So now these are my header links. I'm going to give some spacing between them probably 40 and then I'm going to make them an auto layout. I am going to go ahead and I am going to change these links as well. Now I'm going to say this is going to be our this is going to be our vision. And since I'm using our I'll, I'll just use the R here as well, R artifacts or something along those lines. That looks more uh, RT, <laughs> if that's a word. So our artifacts, our vision, uh, uh, where we're located or something like contact us maybe. And I think like that should be fine. Let me just give another link here as well. That can be uh, sponsor us or something along those lines so i think this should be fine let's just go ahead and see what that actually looks like i'm going to close some of the other pages here and i am gonna yeah i think that looks fine probably i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to make these both both of these things an auto layout i'm going to center them horizontally by pressing the option h key which you probably see on your screen I'm going to center them vertically as well. Center this particular auto layout vertically. I'm going to make this auto. So I once I'm actually resizing this thing, it actually resizes accordingly. The width of this particular element can be something along those lines, 1140, and I'm going to center it again. So now it's centered. Uh, I want the spacing at the top to be 48, the spacing at the bottom to be 48 as well. So I can just shift it at the top. And let me just give this particular page a name. I'm going to go and I'm also going to create my cover page just so it's really easy to see what the page looks like uh, from a glance. So here's my cover item. 
I'm going to say this is a design <clears throat> design explorer or something. I'm going to say Sunzi pottery or whatever. And I think that's fine. I'm going to convert it. I'm going to make it a frame. I'm going to say this is going to be my cover and I'm going to right click. I'm going to say or probably just command P and I'm going to say set as thumbnail. So now it's a thumbnail as you can see here. Um, and basically what that means is anytime you're actually and let me just also move this to file. So I'm going to say move to project and I'm going to say asset designs. I'm going to move it here. And as you can see now, if I go to my asset designs, here's the Sunzi pottery. It's really easy to see. And I can just again go to the design. So here we have our design. Uh, what I want to do now is I just want to go ahead and I want to apply a really large uh, heading here. I want to say, let me think. Uh, when vision or when, uh, yeah, when vision meets art or something fancy along those lines. So here we have our heading. I think the font probably looks fine. Let's just go ahead and see. I think we also need to have a bit more in the heading when vision meets art, when vision interacts with art or something fancy like that. I think that should be fine. So let's just go ahead and see what the page looks like now. I think the font is slightly larger. I don't want it to be that large and I'm just, I think this probably looks fine. I think I'm just going to center it again, centered, and I'm going to reduce the uh, line height because I want the text to be slightly closer together. So here we have our text and I just want some pottery images here. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to press a and I'm going to create uh, a box here. I'm going to go to my plugin, which is the Unsplash plugin. I'm going to do a separate video, which is going to explain you how you actually go ahead and install these plugins. But basically, if you want to install them, you go here to the plugins panel and you go browse plugins in the community. Once you've done that, you can basically basically search for any plugin. I can search for Unsplash. I can press enter and I can go to the plugins. And as you can see, here are some of the plugins that you can install. So I already have Unsplash installed. I'm going to search pottery and these images are again free to use. So you can go ahead and use them. I'm just going to uh, choose some really good images here. So I think this looks good. Let's just go ahead and expand this a bit more. Similarly, I'm going to use another image that's going to be placed like this. Actually, I want the image to be slightly thin because I want to have uh, two more images. I'm going to go to my content reel again. I'm going to say pottery pot, sorry, not content reel, sorry, unsplash. And I'm going to say pottery. And here we have our pottery. Let me see which one actually aligns with this particular theme. I think this probably does as well. And this one as well. So I think this probably is a bit too dark, but let's see. Maybe this or <clears throat> so yeah just picking the images that look fine is a bit of a challenge but we'll definitely figure something out so we have something like this and let's just place one more image i'm just going to place it slightly down just to give it a more modern and aesthetic feel uh, of it not necessarily following a particular boring order and uh, for this particular image, let's just go ahead and use probably this one. I think this looks fine, but obviously it's not visible. We want something that's visible. I think this probably looks much better. So yeah, so here we have our images. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to position this particular thing, this image here, just so it's visible. And let's just go ahead and have a look at our page now. So I think the page looks <clears throat> probably okay uh, I think it, it doesn't look bad and let's just go ahead and move this image as well here and I think like that's probably fine let's just also include one image here just for the sake of it I think if an image is just placed 
uh, slightly in the middle of nowhere that would go that would give a more aesthetic feel so again unsplash and poetry <clears throat> And here are some pods, probably not these ones. I think this one probably makes sense. Now I, I want I don't want like a lot of color. I want it I want it to be a bit monochromatic. Uh, slightly in the shade of brown. So maybe this one, let's just go ahead and have a look. Actually I just applied the image to the whole container. So let's have a look. I think well, it's it has too much detail for such a small image so we don't want a lot of detail in this particular one uh, <clears throat> I think this probably looks okay though I don't have any hands surfaced in any of the other images so I'm not sure if I actually want to do this so let's just go ahead and find some other image maybe this one is probably oops this one it's not gray Oh, it's gray I want it to be slightly uh, brownish I don't want a background behind it so let's see what other brown backgrounds we have um, I think probably this one even though it doesn't match it I think it's fine obviously we can uh, play around with the nitty-gritty details later on as well so I think like this particular font actually looks much bigger I want it to be smaller so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tweak this particular thing and it's gonna make all of the font smaller and that's the power of again styles and components so here I have a page I'm gonna point out that a person that this is a particular slide and a person can actually rotate it as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a 12 by 12 box here I'm gonna give it a background of white <clears throat> here's my slider indicator that this is not necessarily on the first slide I'm gonna increase it here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag another one here I'm gonna duplicate this one is here as well so this actually indicates actually it doesn't indicate it immediately but hopefully now it indicates that this particular thing is not sitting on the first slide and let me just place it slightly at the bottom as well probably something like this aligned to that and I think this should probably identify that this is not the first slide rather it's on the second slide but I think like these slides are actually quite large so I'm gonna press enter to select all the uh, inner children I'm gonna make these this particular thing 8 pixels and let's just see how that looks now it doesn't look good because these also then need to be 8 pixels so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reduce them to 8 and probably I can also make them <clears throat> maybe it's fine and let's just go ahead and um, give this particular bar a border radius of whatever it is so I'm gonna say this is slide 1 this one is slide 2 and then slide 3 and then slide 4 so that's what we have basically and we have 90 pixels I'm just gonna make it 92 just to be a multiple of two I like that and yeah I also want to increase the spacing between these elements probably six is going to be much better it's going to give a, much, a bit more breathing room so here we have it and I also want to point out like what the next slide is going to be so I'm going to say um, who we are or something along those lines I'm going to make it slightly smaller uh, I'm going to re remove this five pixels I'm going to make it zero I'm going to remove this line height as well which is slightly larger I'm going to say who we are I'm going to have an arrow minus right here I'm going to change this to font awesome font awesome here you go well actually it's not updating here so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to choose this and let's just go ahead and increase the font size here so probably something like this and slightly light because I don't know I don't want too much priority on the arrow let's just make this light as well and the font needs to be reduced as well so something like this who we are or probably slightly larger regular <clears throat> or maybe medium and yeah I think that looks good maybe we can position it here let's just see how that works um, yeah I think that can work so we can probably give it 8 and 
I'm just going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to give both of these things an auto layout. And I always want to give my spacing in the multiples of four, ideally, if it exceeds or if it comes closer to 16 or 20. So, yeah, I think that probably looks good. What else can we add here? Well, we can just keep it simple for now. What I can actually do is I can actually add a radial gradient here just so it looks like that. I don't know. There's some stylistic effect going on that's interesting so i'm just gonna make first of all i'm just gonna make this 100 so we can start seeing our page again so this is 100 and let's just go ahead and tweak this color a bit so i'm just gonna make it slightly light in the shade of brown i think it's much more visible so we want it to be subtle and here i think it's yeah it's subtle i think it looks good and here's our page so that's how you basically create like a simple page and now if we wanted to add any interactions on that i can basically say that if a person let's say clicks on this who we are and i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to point it here i'm going to say if a person clicks on this who we are what i want to do is let's say i want to move this thing to the right ideally that's not the right way of doing things but let's just go ahead and do it <clears throat> so i'm going to give this a title or next slide text and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give the name of this particular thing next slide as well and I'm gonna say uh, the next slide is gonna be um, our vision or something along those lines <clears throat> so if we just have a look and let's just have a look at our prototype I'm gonna Go ahead i don't know why it says next slide i'm going to say who we are and now if we actually click on it as you can see we have some transition here but ideally i want this transition to be smooth so i'm instead of instant i'm going to say smart animate and let's just see how that looks so it looks nice i think it can be it can definitely be better so in order to make it better i shouldn't have done that instead i can go ahead and i can make this border radius actually yeah i can go ahead and make this border radius zero first of all and i'm gonna make this particular width eight eight and then eight just so it resembles some of the other ones i'm going to copy the styles here and i'm going to paste them here similarly i'm going to go ahead and copy these styles from here and i'm going to paste them here and i'm going to make this 92. so now sorry let's just remove this particular thing because it's uh, trying to scale this proportionately so now let's have a look at how that looks so i think now it looks much better the the previous one is actually reducing in width while this one is increasing so i think that's probably better uh what else do we want to do probably i want to go ahead and let's just go ahead and drag all of these items within a frame i'm going to say these are my images similarly i'm going to drag all of these i'm going to say these are my images as well and what i'm going to do here is after a person clicks on this screen it actually lands on this screen but the images are not there so let's just try that out who we are the images actually vanish so that's good i'm going to change this text to who we are and what we do or something along those lines so when i click it the text updates and I'm going to create a separate thing as well. I'm going to move my images. These are my, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to go into my desktop three. These are my images. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag them in. And let's say if I drag them in, as you can see, I click on it and I'm going to say basically after a person lands on this screen, I want another interaction, which actually works after a delay. I'm going to say just after a delay of one millisecond, do something. So who we are, and then the images slide in. Probably we can make it slightly smoother by saying it's gonna take 1000 milliseconds so and this one. yeah, let's so who we are and then one. the images slide back in. Obviously with the images now, we want to enlarge it a bit as different. Well. And we can probably <clears> use this one here. I'm gonna go on my plugins and instead of let's say these images, I'm gonna go under and splash. in this place yeah. we can let's say and use this say, one. I don't know. And in this particular thing, we can actually use this one. So I think that's probably fine for now. And we can obviously re 
restructure these images as well i can slightly make this one larger i can make this one uh, slightly on top i can make this one a bit here and i can bring this one at the bottom probably something like this i don't even understand what this image is so i'm going to go ahead and i'm actually going to change it first of all however i'm going to go here i'm going to say this image needs to not crop it, sh it should be fill and i think this probably looks fine i think this looks fine so let's have a look at it and obviously that thing disappears so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to rename these things i'm going to say images and then the current name so this rename thing is also a plugin that i've installed which you can again go and install by doing the same thing that that we mentioned previously so as we can see there's still a particular issue uh, but even before that i'll just say our heritage so it actually matches some of the images who we are our heritage and what we are all about or something along those lines i'm going to do that here as well just going to our heritage and who we are who we are probably that's fine now let's see how it looks so this looks fine there's some funky stuff going on here because once the images actually go on the left uh, those images aren't hidden and once they come back they're actually showing themselves and we don't want that to happen we don't want these image to show images to show themselves so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to go to these images that are actually in this second frame i'm going to hide all of them or probably i can even delete them so if i delete them as you can see that works much much better however i want the same time to be taken here as well i want to say this should be ease out uh, 1000 milliseconds and then yeah it just slides back in and similarly we can actually say that this particular text also moves out it actually goes here as well and then it comes back again so if we have a look at it so yeah it comes back again but now the problem is that this text is also not sliding out so i'm going to say this is going to mean by main title so the 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 text uh the names here at the very least in the layers panel needs to be the same so that it knows which one is being linked to which particular thing and which effect is actually linked to the other one so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to click our heritage as you can see now it actually moves out one problem here however is that i actually want the text to change after here probably or something along those lines i don't want the text to change okay so there's some funky stuff going on but i think we can probably work with it i don't think it's that bad so if we just take it here let's just say nope i don't think it looks good the text needs to be the same here in this particular case it needs to slide out but then there should be a particular transition between them so let's just see how it works i think it's probably fine i don't i don't necessarily want to make this video really long just explaining these minor things to you but obviously we can figure it out later I think the background looks good one thing that i do want to do however is i want to go here i want to make this my main background so just in case i actually want to change it or tweak it i think we can actually tweak it to make it slightly more darker but let's just go ahead on both of our these things as well and just give it a main background so now that we actually mod now that if we actually modify our main background it's actually connected so let's just go ahead and make it slightly darker so i think this color actually looks really fun really good like this gray color and let's just make it slightly darker here as well so now have a look at it refresh i think this looks good i think it actually does look good so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to choose this again i'm going to say okay this is radial but i actually <clears throat> i actually want this radial to be slightly sitting at the bottom um i don't know why i can't select it probably the images are being selected so i'm just going to lock these images and now i can go here i can say i want to edit this and here we have i think it's particularly just selecting that uh frame for some reason so obviously we can tweak that later as well but 
I think it's a bit too dark now. I want a shade of a particular color here. So let's just give this a shade like this and let's just give it a shade like this as well. So I don't want it completely black. I want it to have a shade. I think that's too dark. This one is a bit better. And similarly, I just want to reduce it slightly here as well. Probably increase the color in the middle. And let's just have a look at it now. I think this looks good. Also, let's go ahead and change the background in our prototyping view so we can actually see the color. So let's just give it a slightly darker color here. And as we can see now, I can go to my heritage and yeah, it changes and it looks good. So that's how you basically start using uh, Figma to create website designs, to create like interactive designs, how to make it work, so on and so forth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, do let me know if you need anything else, but that's going to be pretty much it for now. Thanks, take care.